Well, good day, my friends. Bruce here. Let me just grab that. So this is a very typical modern Honda on a on an MTD frame made for Craftsman before Sears left the country, and now Lowe's has the Craftsman name again. I don't know if they're putting Hondas on their engines. Uh, I wasn't going to film this one because it was running. Oil was good. It just needs to be changed. And and uh, but I just took the spark plug out. And I like to film different things. This is an E3. And uh, I don't like the E3s. They do tend to carbon up. And I think they just go into the throat of the piston area of the cylinder just a little too far. So let's just compare them. With a DPR6ES. These are pre-gapped to 28. Yeah, they are. When you really look, I'm behind you now, so don't back up. When you really look, I think they just go in a little further, don't they? So, I'm just going to make sure this is gapped to 28, and we'll stick it in. Nice. I tell you, I have, I've converted to NGK, and I like them. I'm going to just stick this in here, and I'm going to blow some more feathers out of here. I almost washed this one with the pressure washer, because it's a really nice lady. Or something in there. But it, you know what? It's actually a nice mower. Uh, they haven't. Oh yeah, let's do this too. This was this was pretty much fuzzed right up too, eh? So I'm gonna just give them a new one. Okay. Let's just get the fluffer blower out again. And the inside of this. And I'll wipe it down afterwards with fantastic salt, uh, soap or something like that. Eh? There. Tune-up's almost done. They even set it at the right height, eh? A little high for my liking, but... Now, I'm going to just start it up. And it has the, uh, the crazy semi-automatic choke on it, eh? which works, by the way. Should start. That tells a little story, doesn't it? Now I did have the I did have this thing tilted back. I was gonna do a I was gonna I was gonna do a uh, an RPM check, but now I'm gonna have to have a look inside that uh, Nintendo. I'm just pump it up and have a look inside that carburetor and maybe drain some fuel out of there. Oh, 
Okay, as I was pumping that up, I was going to say, if I could speak, I would have been a politician. Now, oh, okay, that, that bowl is a ten, straight 10 millimeter. I'm just going to take the bowl off. Oh, turn the gas. Oh, that's nice, eh? Put gas cock to turn that off. It might have just sucked in some dirt from the tank. Who knows, eh? sitting on its back when I changed the blade. Pardon me. There we go. There's a little bit of dirt in there, not bad. Okay. I'm going to flush that out. This is the vessel I like to use for that. Well, I guess that could... Okay, so I've been fixing lawnmowers for many, many years, and this one's out of gas. <laughs> we might as well rinse this now that we're at it, huh? on this big boy. Oops. I guess she got a full tank. Well, we can't complain about that. Put this back. Let's give her a little purge midstream sample here. The uh, bowl back on. Just gonna give her a little wipe on here. Wipe out! for right-handed, right-handed lawnmower fixtures. I was going to call myself a technician, but I don't know if I qualify for that. Ah! So, what was the problem? Oh, it was out of gas. tune-up was almost done just by standing around. Okay, let the gas flow. Lower it down a bit and I'm going to run it for five minutes. And then change the oil.
extraction. Let's see if we can get most of it. I got the big tube in. We'll see. We'll see if that is. Oh yeah. See if that gets most of it. Or we'll use both of the tubes. Now we're gonna. I always do this when I'm extracting oil because I don't. I can't see. Just lift her up a little bit. And we should get some more. Well, that, eh? snipped at the end as well. And we're going to see if there's any leftovers in there. Done. I like to keep this thing fairly clean too. Starting to come over a third full. Works best about a third full actually. Now I'm going to wipe it down, you guys won't even recognize it after. So, new spark plug, sharpened blade, new air filter. Uh, I'm going to just oil the wheels lightly. I'll just let that drain. And I, like, I just use old transmission fluid that, okay, it's not old. <laughs> We'll be right back. Now, the absolute perfect way to oil, to oil a wheel is to take it off and oil a shaft. But I guarantee you that this little, whoops, see it spills a bit. This tiny bit of uh, transmission fluid will work its way around. Oh, get on there. 
There we go. And I don't mind putting a little oil on these uh, gear shifters as well. Eh? On the, I'm sorry, not the gear shifters, that's what they call them. The oil height adjuster, the height adjuster, see? And there's not really, oh, he's got this bolted in pretty tight. What has he done? We've got a handyman operation going on here. Okay, I'd have to look at that. Oh, let's just wipe that off. Take this out. And we'll check the hoil. Now, on Hondas, you don't screw it in, right? And it's right on the it's right on the full, right there. Double check it. No. Now the only thing I'm not happy about is uh, there's kind of a, a jerry rig here on these right there on the handles and over there. Oops, over there, right there. Well, I'm not I'm not quite sure what was here originally with the with the deck and bars. He had this little quarter inch guy in there, and they have the uh, the square, the square insert like for the carriage bolts like that. So I am just adding uh, a five sixteenths carriage. It's, it's an MTD frame, so the frame is SAE and the engine's metric. So I'm just adding these cute little five sixteenths carriage bolts and. Uh, I think that's going to work. You know, you just, you have to kind of use your imagination sometimes. And I just made sure that when they use the bag uh, inserter putter inner, that, uh, yeah, the bag hooks onto that, onto those axles right there. So we're good. And uh, there was also the problem with the lock washer on the blade. He had an extra lock washer that was ended up inserted inside the blade. And that's about it. I think we're ready. It's got oil and I'm just going to wipe it down so next time you see it... Oh! There we go my friends. So when a, a nice lawnmower comes in and all they want is a tuna and it's running and you just have to do the uh, basics, air filter, spark plug, blade sharpen, uh, you know, on wheel tightening or whatever, lubing. I like to take it just a little extra further because it's a treat for me to have a lawnmower come in that actually runs. So let's just see if it still does. Once again, thanks for watching.